Invest 95 maintains a moderate probability of becoming a tropical depression before entering the eastern region of Nicaragua. It is expected to bring heavy rains across Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Guatemala, and to the islands of San Andres and Providencia. There remains a high risk of flooding this week. On the other hand, Hurricane Tammy will continue its northward path. We will be vigilant about the possibility of its remnants taking a turn to the west end, perhaps in the long term, approaching the Bahamas and Florida. Lastly, remember that we will keep an eye on the Caribbean Sea because models indicate that in a week, there might be the development of a low-pressure system with cyclonic potential. Good day, today is Monday, October 23, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be discussing Invest 95, which has a moderate probability of becoming a tropical depression just before it reaches Nicaragua. This disturbance promises a lot of rain for areas in Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, and southern Guatemala. Interests in this region should be attentive to its development. In this animation, we can see Hurricane Tammy continuing its northward trajectory over the Atlantic waters, although its moisture field still extends towards the northeastern Caribbean region. A significant precipitation event continues, and additional flooding is possible today and tomorrow across the Lesser Antilles. Hurricane Tammy will continue its path to the north-northeast over the next five days. It is anticipated that it will dissipate into a non-tropical low-pressure system during Thursday night or early Friday. However, in the long term, we will remain attentive to its remnants as some models show that they might turn westward and, eventually, approach the Bahamas and Florida. Nevertheless, this is a long-term forecast, and we will have more days to observe its evolution. Now, let's talk about Invest 95 and the Caribbean region, where we will be closely monitoring over the next seven days. After Invest 95, some models show the possibility of a tropical cyclone development towards the end of this week. It's important that residents of the Caribbean, in general, remain vigilant over the next few days in this area of the Atlantic. As we zoom in a bit on the infrared satellite image of Invest 95, you can see that this low-pressure system continues to produce heavy rains along the eastern coast of Nicaragua and also over the islands of Providencia and San Andres. This rain will persist over the next 48 hours, and it's possible that a tropical depression may form just before it reaches Nicaraguan territory. This is why the National Hurricane Center maintains a 60% chance of development over the next 48 hours. However, the window for development is quite short, and it won't have much opportunity to strengthen before making landfall. In its projected path, the low-pressure system is expected to cross through the center of Nicaragua and eventually reach the waters of the eastern Pacific, passing to the south of El Salvador and Guatemala, where it can also bring heavy rainfall in about 4 to 5 days. Estimated accumulated rainfall over the next three days ranges from 25 to 175 mm over much of Nicaragua and El Salvador, as well as the islands of San Andres and Providencia. The GFS model projection shows that rainfall accumulations could be greater than 300 mm in some areas of eastern Nicaragua. The eastern and southern regions of Honduras could receive some rainfall between 40 to 75 mm from today until next Wednesday. So, this could lead to a flooding and landslides event please take the necessary precautions. After Invest 95, we will remain attentive to the area east of Nicaragua and the south of Jamaica because, in the long term, some models, like the GFS ensemble members, show the possibility of a low-pressure system developing in the central to western Caribbean region. This is typical for the month of November. Similarly, the ensemble members of the European model also show the possibility of low-pressure development in this area. So, it is highly likely that we will be analyzing the evolution of this forecast for the Caribbean region towards the end of this week. Well, that's all for this forecast update. I hope you all have an excellent start to the week.